Welcome to Tech Brothers Dharma. In this video, we are going to learn about the answer of this question. How will you control the flow of activities in Azure Data Factory pipeline, uh, such as if your activity failed or completed or an error happened to that? Uh, so uh, this is a very actually basic question, and uh, it's a it's a good question to understand the knowledge of a person who is going for as an ADF developer. So in the pipelines, uh, when we go right there, uh, but you can tell to the person in the pipeline uh, we have multiple activities activities and on each of the activity we can uh, fl uh, control uh, the flow of activities depending on the status of a previous activity. So see right here when you see this green uh, part of it and you connect uh, the green line connects uh, and uh, that's where uh, you can click on right there on the green uh, and uh, now right there uh, let's uh, Okay, now what you see there, you have this uh, on success. So let's say uh, my copy activity completes, uh, then it's gonna go on this uh, activity uh, on success. Uh, then we can have failure, then we have completion and skipped. Uh, so there are four different uh, uh, statuses on previous activities uh, uh, can be, uh, the next activities can run from the previous activity. So such as, let's say if I want to run uh, from the if uh, my copy activity fails, then I want to run the data flow. What I need to do, I can go right here and double click, or actually, right, sorry, click right there and say failure. Now you see that uh, my first uh, uh, activity is running uh, this one. And uh, if this completes, then I'm going to go here. Then uh, if I fail, I go to the data flow. But now let's say take another copy activity, another activity then uh, we can connect here and I'm saying that if this activity is skipped, uh, so in this case, uh, now if I will write there and say skipped, uh, what's gonna happen, uh, let's say this activity runs, copy activity, now it fails, uh, then uh, this data flow run, right? And uh, that will uh, skip this activity because it's not gonna run uh, this activity as this is connected with the on success. Uh. So there, this activity will run uh, because this activity is skipped. Uh. So you can uh, handle those kind of situations. Uh, or uh, there is another situation, it doesn't matter your copy, acti other, this activity completes so with success or failure, you can always go ahead and uh, you wanna run this uh, on completion. Uh. So right there, you click there and then uh, right click here and uh, click uh, completion. So this is blue. So that means it doesn't matter of this execution status of uh, this uh, copy activity data. Uh, is the, this is complete with success or failure, this activity always will execute. Uh, so these are different uh, ways uh, we have. Uh, we have uh, on success, um, that's uh, right here green. We have uh, on failure, that's our uh, red. Then we have blue, that's on completion. Uh, and then we have uh, one gray, that's uh, on skip. Uh, so these four different uh, dependencies uh, uh, um, I don't know what you call them, flows or whatever you, you want to give the name. So these are different, four different ways uh, to control the execution of next activity depending on the previous activity status. So, so that's what you will uh, tell the person like, hey, um, uh, if uh, there are, depending on the status of previous activity, there are four different options I have. I can run the next activity on success, on failure, on completion, or skipped. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.